talk to me about your self-education like uh what got you into reading what like obviously you mentioned your first book but was that just hey i you, you just put your head down and never look back once you no, got that I book i definitely acquired it throughout the years and anytime i found myself off pace that's the one thing I go back to. I'm like, I'm not reading enough. I fell off of it. It's so true, right? It is. I'm like, so you're true. not, because think about it. You know, you work out, you like, you want to make sure you're just talking about intermittent fasting. You know, somebody it's maybe not intermittent fasting, but they have a clean diet. They're feeding their body the right nutrients. I believe our mind's the same exact way. You're going to operate how you feed your mind. Yeah. So are you feeding it something productive, something that you're going to be able to learn from, grow from, whatever, learn a new tool from, the list goes on. Or are you just sitting back looking at comic books because that's only going to give you one thing. Yeah, you know? that's it's so true. The more you focus on that, the more you find yourself. It's like what you think about is what you become and what you exactly. read is... No, it is. You will adapt it. And if you read yeah. enough, it'll happen almost on autopilot. You'll start picking up these. It's like somebody you spend time with, you're going to start picking up their good habits and bad habits. If you're reading this book every day, you're going to start applying that knowledge and you are going to adjust the level of person you are in your career. I love that. I, there's two things that come to mind. It's like you stick your hand in the honey pot, eventually something's going to stick. Yeah. You read enough books, you read yeah. enough, you get enough education, eventually you start. To it's really simple. I think people look at it as far as take a book this big, three, four hundred pages, whatever, and they, they're looking, oh man, this is going to be so long. I keep it simple. I read 10 pages a day minimum. Okay. Now, if I'm super awake at nighttime, then I'll go back to another 10 or 20. But yep. every day when I wake up, I'm reading 10 pages. So you're just on 10 pages a day. If you do 10 pages a day, you'll do minimum one book a month. The average awesome. American reads less than one book a, a year. year. So yeah. you could do 12 in a year just from 10 pages a day. Love that. So and then you the average CEO is yeah. 60 books a year. Yeah. So think yeah. about it. If you speed it up to 40 pages, I mean, that's going to be four books a month. Mm. When I'm on my game, I'm reading four books a month. On average, it's between one and two. Love that. Do you, do, uh, you ever do audio books? I do. Now, oh. I got away from them a little bit. One of my... Uh, mentors had said you know do paperback you absorb it different so what i'll normally do i'll do minimum one paperback a month and then i'll do audibles okay but i make sure i don't do just audibles because i'll notice you know it's so easy with audibles you're in the car you're here and you're still getting distracted you don't grab everything yeah so there's been times where, yeah, I'm doing an audible, but there's times where I do the same exact book on a paperback. Gotcha, and that's probably really good to do. It is. So I do audible, but I find I my focus is very, very on point when I'm doing good. audible. When I'm in yeah. the car, I'm at the gym. I, I like I'm learning guitar, and I never listen to music because yeah. music doesn't help my education. It gets adjust. You have to adjust. I remember a time when I was in the gym. If I didn't listen to music, I couldn't work out. Mm. Then I would listen to an audible in the gym, and I was like, oh, this is kind of weird. But then you get a adapted to it now i don't even listen to music in the gym no it's it's got to no. be a book or it's yeah. got to be a podcast it's yeah. got to be something i'm learning if yeah. it's not it's i'm not listening to it exactly love that and just putting a hundred grand into self-education mm -hmm. so what, what are you doing like how, where do you know to, where to put that money so it's got a lot of be now these mentors you work with or influencers whoever it might be they haven't gotten cheaper throughout the years. They've gotten more expensive. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not hard to do if you're, you know, seeking the right places. And somebody asked me, he's like, how do I find the right one? I said, what I've always done is whoever I'm working with or mentoring with, I want to know who is that person's mentor, who got them to where they're I at. I like that. Because I'm working to get where they are. I don't want to learn what just they learned. Now I'm going to ask questions, but who te taught you mm. and who took you to this level? Like There's that. one I had last year. So it was a 20 minute call over the phone once a week. That call costed me $1,000 okay. every single week. Now that's a couple different things it's gonna do for you. It's gonna hold you accountable. That's a nice chunk of money that you're spending. So you're gonna take it very serious. Think about it, if I had that same call and it was a free call, mm, yeah. most people are like, oh yeah, good. You I know. 100% yeah, agree. Yeah, you know. Even someone comes to me for weight loss advice, I'm like, this is what you pay. If you're not willing to pay, you're not taking it serious. Yeah. And you know, I don't see the point of wasting my time. Yeah, exactly. It's not about the money. I had another guy on here recently and he does um, business consultations, charges $600 per hour, but he gives the money back if they actually take action. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you actually listen to what he's got to say and you put it into action, he'll give you the money back because he doesn't need the money. He just wants to see 
take some damn steps towards he what he told you. Does he tell you that in the beginning that he'll give it back, or he tells you? I don't you think you so. I think it's just like a little thing really? he throws in. That's pretty impressive. Mm, interesting, yeah. right? It is. He's in a whole different industry, but yeah. I like that. I was yeah, like, hmm. that's really good. Because what? Uh, there's my favorite quote is to read and not to do is really not to read. To know and not to do is really not to know. And everyone says like knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is Correct. power. Yeah, There's no point in knowing something unless you apply it. Everyone yeah. knows how to lose weight. Everyone knows how to be healthy. Everyone knows how to save money, but how many of us are actually doing it? Yeah. And that's the difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. Can you make it important enough where you're actually gonna take action? Yeah. And I love that it's saying that you're willing to spend good money because that's gonna even make someone as serious as you take it even more serious. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm. 